I need to ask you, Dan, about... What you gotta um, ask me? So the Elden Ring DLC is out. You guys know that I was, that me and... I think Dan was. I don't know if anyone else was heavy into the game. Uh, AB's uh, almost he, beat it. He got to like the very end. Right? Yeah. yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're, yeah, I thought you're on the Elden Beast. You're still there? Yeah, I, I actually played the DLC before the, the Elden Beast. Before oh, I beat you're it. playing the DLC? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, you gotta get- you just kill that thing, it's easy. You, the sword you get is nuts from it. Yeah. It's like the ultimate farming sword. It's- it's tough jumping back into it after I haven't played for a while. But. I'm a little bit afraid. I haven't played yet. I'm yeah. waiting till after the live show. I'm waiting. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to deal with any distractions until that. Smart. Um, <laughs> but I am a little bit nervous to get back in, but the reason I bring it up is because it's been getting extraordinarily mixed reviews and this is the game that some people said is maybe the best game of all time why are people giving it bad reviews it's too hard do you believe that noobs i mean i believe it but they you need to are a bunch of pussies yep thank <laughs> you that's right thank you love let me look at metacritic you wanted to say something to asmin gold right dan <laughs> what? <laughs> Not specifically, but he was one of the people that uh, that he he rage quit, um, saying that they just made it too damn hard. And to him, I say, yeah, good dude. I don't know what to say. He's a man. pro gamer, man. Yeah, you play video games for a living. This shit's too hard. Get real. But I, I am specifically confused because uh, the Soul games are known for being difficult. Like, you can't go in and be like, ah, it's too hard. That's kind of, like, what it's known for. Sure, yeah. They do have that reputation. But, yeah, I mean, I um, I only finally got to play it a little bit last night. Probably, like, two hours. And um, while it's difficult, um, sure, I'm not going to say it's, like, easy or anything. It didn't seem like a, uh, a big jump from the base game uh, difficulty. And... Traditionally, with these with these Souls games like Dark Souls and Bloodborne and everything, the DLCs that they make for them, they usually are really challenging because it's it kind of assumes that you've played the base game, you want more, and you want it to be even more challenging. And so, you know, you kind of go into it with the attitude that this is probably going to be pretty tough. So this guy says it's a it's a um, it's glitchy. So that's fair. Yeah. So. The this Steam, guy's also saying it's glitchy, so that's fair. Right. The Steam uh, reviews do seem to uh, seem to be focused on performance <laughs> issues, which that that's that's totally fine. This comment's funny. Really great final boss. Part of the move set is lowering your FPS below thirty mid fight. <laughs> I see. That is it. That is it. Would be a challenging uh, feature. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. I don't see anyone here saying it's too hard. Actually, it's just Asmin Gold. Yeah, there's been you some know other what? streamers it's and stuff too. It's time he changed his name to Asmin Bronze. Because he is <laughs> oh, not getting God. involved Bronze in anything. League. Bronze League! I mean, dude is playing Warrior in retail World of Warcraft. I'm not surprised he thinks it's too hard. Is that easy mode? Yeah, it's like, you World just click three premiere. buttons. Oh, 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 I'm a warrior. Hit, punch, <laughs> taunt. Give me a break. Fucking idiot, dude. Shit idiot, bro. You usually play Warrior, right, Ethan? Not in World of Warcraft. Oh, no? You would never, dude. Actually, no, I didn't. I... Dan. What'd Dan. you play? Well, because I know that you usually play Warriors. In yeah, I love it. Game. I love it. Yeah. So what'd you play? I pl I was all <laughs> over the place. You I, think my, I think my main guy first was a rogue, an undead rogue. Okay. See, that's like super based. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> On a PvP server, no less. <sighs> we used to camp fools, bro. Damn, yeah. dog. Anyway, whatever. God damn. That was probably like 20 years ago. I didn't ago realize now. you were cool like that. I you am. Know? I yeah. used to go to... I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's this dungeon? I, you know where the broken glass bottle? There's like it used to be the best dagger for rogues. Okay, huh. pre the first expansion. I don't know about that. Oh, uh, lower BRS. Lower what? BRS. Black Rock Spire. Oh yeah, that's it. Black Rock Spire. Yep. So I used to go into Black Rock Spire by myself, mm -hmm. solo the fucking boss that dropped. Mm, the broken glass bottle, mm -hmm. and I f and I s spent days there to try to farm that item. Level fifty was the max level then, and that was the best dagger in the game. And guess who got it? Soloing bosses, me. You mean level sixty? Yeah, it would have been sixty. So but it, been, I, it just would have been sixty. But that, that's no, no big deal. No, fifty was the max level in the beginning. Nah, it was sixty.
Dude, it was 60. Oh. For real? Oh, well, now I was 60. What do you want? You're thinking of EverQuest. EverQuest was uh, max 50 in the base game. Oh, shit. Button that. Button that. Button that. Yeah, go ahead and button. <laughs> you fucking noob. Button that shit. <laughs> it was level 60, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I guess I was level 60 then. Sorry about that, everybody. It's all good. Elmen bald. <laughs> Someone, sorry, I just read that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Someone said Elsman bald. <laughs> Uh, uh, he's mauled. Not my words. Mm. Not only Shopify great, but I love uh, the shop app. Oh yeah, that shop app's another great thing that connects to it. Having all the late greats like Teddy Fresh, Gamer Subs, and Brittany Broski all in the same place. That's how I get notified of TF drops. Great app, great sponsor. Oh, thank you, Eve. Wow, Eve. I agree. I mean, I love them. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about some fun, silly, goofy, schmutzy stuff. Yeah. Well, people are saying it's not lower BRS. Is that wrong? It sounds like it was Black Rock Spire. I thought that that's where that that bottle thing dropped, but it's no. This is it's where been like twenty years. Go, so go forgive down me. A fat fucking chain over lava. Oh, that's molten core. No, it wasn't. But molten core was the raid zone. Oh yeah. There was, okay. There was also a like classic wild man group dungeon there too. Right, the super long one. Yeah, it was lower BRS. I thought was it was Rock Lock Spire. Now that you mention it, or Black Rock Depths is what it's called. Maybe Black I just said Rock I Depths. said yeah, yeah. I said okay. maybe the the wrong name for the apologies. Dungeon. Well, apologies, the, uh, apologies. They're gonna come to your social media page, Dan. You don't have one. Well, they know I'm a fake gamer. I fucking expose myself. <laughs> you know, House of Dragons out, and I've not heard a single person talking about. You it. know. I enjoyed the first season. For some reason, I just found myself not giving a shit about the second season. Me too. I don't know why. I it's, it's probably it's good, good. But you're watching. Yeah, it. it's good. I'm sure it's good. I I don't know why. I I think. I mean, I almost didn't watch the first season because I was just so fucking burned by uh, by the Those whole idiots. ending of Game of Thrones and all that. Yeah. Um, but I gave it a shot. It turned out it was pretty good. You know what? Part of it was is I think. The part that I enjoyed the most about the first season was the guy who played the king was so good. And spoiler right. alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. The king dies. He's no longer in the show. And I, I, I didn't really feel particularly compelled to keep watching. I That's know. a good point. That's a good point. Although he was sick the whole time. So I, you know, his death was imminent, right? Yeah, it's not unexpected yeah. or anything, and I, I, he dies. I don't even dislike that that happened. I, I mean, it makes sense, but he, he was one of the main reasons I felt compelled and drawn into That's the show. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. For some reason, I'm just not watching it. I'd rather watch, like, another 2020 episode some, for some reason. <laughs> if you watch the first episode, I think you guys will get back into it. It starts off pretty, pretty, pretty good. spicy. Yeah. That's also yeah. what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know why. Oh, see, here's the problem. People say we're talking about too much serious stuff, and you guys are absolutely right. Mm. The amount of essay, uh, violence, uh, child abuse, animal mm. abuse, it's every fucking episode. I see where this is going. And the problem is, I don't know what is in the air or what is in the water, but w the title of this episode, the biggest news story right now, is Dr. Disrespect. It's con there's new evidence about why he was banned. Is that where you thought I was going? No. I thought you were going to call them hypocrites for liking House of the Dragon, which is all of those things that you uh, just listed. Oh. I don't know if they like <laughs> I thought it. you were tying it in. No. <laughs> I don't know how much they like it. Because you're like sexual assault, yeah. violence. Well, that, uh, and incest. You know, and incest. Right, exactly. I didn't even say that. Right. That one's the funnest. <laughs> um, What's your argument? So, guys, people are saying Black Rock Depths. Just if put us... If you guys are impressed that I used to go in there and solo that boss for the uh, bottle. Uh, it, it was called the Barman Shanker, nope. and it did drop in Black Rock uh, depths, so uh, I was close. It was in the bar area. I had to sneak around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember now. I, I do remember that whole thing. So Spent a lot guys, of time in that dungeon. If you guys want to drop, as fuck. if you're impressed by that, guys, go ahead and drop um, pictures of Alfredo. Let me see pictures of Alfredo. If Alfredo you're impressed check, by that, if you're impressed, and if you are not impressed, if you're not impressed, and you think he's a dork ass fucking loser for even talking about this, you can do the Dan sipping tea emoji. No, Dan sipping teas in the chat. That's not an option. Yeah, it is an option. Uh, no, there's no the. This well, is a bad poll. You can Dan. button it. 
what should it be is are you impressed or are you not impressed because you're you expect more pro gaming right give me a break dude barman's shanker sounds like a british dish kevin said <laughs> a barman shanker in it oi oi oh you got there the ball shake slapper okay we got all right we've got it's the two pints oh. of jameson we got some Dan sipping tea. I will say it seems to be more Alfredo's than Dan sipping tea. It is impressive. It, it was a big deal. It was not easy to do that at the time. Right. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, the Dan sipping teas are starting to come in pretty heavy here. Are those shredders yeah. or duckies? I can't even tell now. Uh, Nate, do you have the ability to to show just a little bit of the chat so you can see all those emojis flying by? Uh, let's get that on screen. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Well, at this right. point. Oh, a lot of Dan's. Oh, a lot of Dan's. Okay, decent amount of Fredos. I'm sorry, the Dan seemed to be winning out at this point. Well, all the people that were impressed already put out Fredos. Also, what's the percentage of people that actually played WoW? Yeah, most of these people were probably born before this dungeon came out. Exactly. Or after. After, exactly. <laughs> were you one of those people? Um, yeah. What year were you born? Wait, you were born after <laughs> no, the dungeon came not out? not really. Oh, I was born in 2000. Oh, okay, so no. But when did that game come out? 2004? Seven. Okay, yeah. so you were four. I started yeah. playing 2007. Okay. You started playing 2007? Yeah. My dad's account. You're seven years old? You're seven years old? Yeah. Whoa. It's a good time. I've played WoW for more, more of my life than I haven't. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Dude, everything is so magic at that age. I know. The nostalgia so goes nice. crazy with World of Warcraft for me. <laughs> it's so fun. Yeah. yeah, I have that, I have that nostalgia. I've it? talked about it a million times, but EverQuest. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I wasn't that much older when I first played EverQuest. I was probably like 10. I don't remember. 10 or 11. Which was really weird. I've said this, but I was interacting with full-blown adults. Yeah, it's very oh, yeah. weird. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. I have like 100 days played on my main character. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 100 days. I don't think I was that far off on my EverQuest guy. No, I bet. It's bad. It's bad. I'm yeah. trying to remember. I think I had... Something like that. Yeah. yeah. It was all my friends played WoW. We all started at the same time. It was, right, it was yeah. so good, dude. Dude, I love yeah. EverQuest so much. I would wake up on the weekend early, like 5 a.m. before everybody, mm -hmm. just so I could go get some game time. I would waking up early like I was working. Damn. <laughs> I, every time they put out a new expansion, I, I leveled without sleeping to the ma really? new level cap. Oh, so I remember Jesus. like... 80 to 90 in a cataclysm. That seems I hard. sat up like 40 hours playing World of Warcraft. Okay, so you stay up for more than a day. Yeah, and I geared up. Like I bought sodies, fast food to make. I did awesome. love when a new expansion came out and then like the noob stuff you get is better than like your most epic. Oh yeah. Game. Right. Yeah. I used to like buy speed potions so I could be the first. I, 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 I was one of the first people who leveled up on my realm. In Cataclysm. Yeah, Shout out. Accomplishment. Yeah. It's pretty Fist bump, my brother. Hell yeah, bro. Um, all right. But should we talk about the... Oh. No. Yeah. But the, the music. What music? Whatever. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Trippy, dude. Okay, here we go. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you. This is uh, Dan, the Traffic Reporter, coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. And today we are going to take a look at... Uh, why don't we head on up to the Pacific Northwest? I don't think we've done that yet. Let's take Where a look at Seattle. Uh, hold on, Dan. You said you're from what city? Los Angeles, California. Why the fuck are we talking so about So in Seattle? Bellevue, uh, the main <laughs> thoroughfare there, the 405. Yes, not the same 405 Usually that we're what, familiar with here in Los Angeles. Hold on, Ethan. There. Hold on, Ethan. Hold on. Just you're wasting time, man. Go on. So the five freeway uh, heading there through downtown Seattle. Uh, the southbound side with. is looking real bad. Uh, a lot of backup on the expressway there uh, near the University District and a little bit further south near Volunteer Park Conservatory. Uh, if you're heading north, though, you have pretty much smooth sailing all the way up through the north of town, and you can pretty much make it all the way up to Vancouver. Uh, here yes, to all the people issues. driving so, from Seattle to Vancouver. Uh, right, there's a Dan? lot of people that commute. There's a lot of people that make that commute every single day. And if you paid attention to my traffic reports, you probably know that. 
You think there is there a lot of people that commute between Seattle and Mont of course Montreal every day? Not Montreal, Jesus. Or Toronto? What you say? Not Toronto either. Vancouver. Okay, whatever. It's not whatever. All right, it's can we wrap it whatever. up, dude? You're you're getting well, lost. Well, I've been, I've been trying. I've been trying. It's not even. You've been funny, making dude. it difficult. It's Anyways, not even fun. Um, the rest of the uh, whole Seattle area is looking pretty good, though. It's a little bit light on the traffic today, but uh, look out. That rush hour is coming to you very soon. Ethan, back to you. Yo, it's producer Dan. You're listening to K-E-T-H. K-E-T-H. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude. Not funny. And very unhelpful, frankly. Thank you for saying that, that it's not funny. Because it's serious business. It's not helpful. If it is serious, it's failing at that too. Get it out of here. Take that down. Ghastly green screen. All right. 